Sanyo Lithium Battery Storage for Off-Grid Solar System Update Live here in the Twin Cities in Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Guys, I just want to give you updates into the Sanyo Lithium batteries made from Japan, uh, which was driven by um, the Volkswagen e-Golf vehicle, electric vehicle. This is what we have here, guys. The 8.544 kilowatts lithium battery power pack or power station or power wall has been doing outstanding performance. So 24 volt, and I have four of them in parallel. See how it's wired? And all the reds, you can see four of them stacked together. They are 12 volt modules, which the high is about 16 point something volt. All right, 16.2. Guys, this is a system is powering. It's still on construction after the uh, demolition, and the system is coming along pretty well. But for some reason, I decided to do a review again because we are driving at a 24 volt system with a Magnusign Magnum energy. So that this is my power wall and this is my world right here that powers my house. I have the Outback Power Systems and the Magnusign Magnum Power Track Energy and the Magnum MS. 4024 PAE driven by this guy right here. I just want to talk about these batteries are awesome. They, they've done outstanding job and incredible work. I don't have nothing else to say bad. They are made in Japan. Is a 1.1065 kilowatt. So 1,065 watt hours on this is a 75 amp hours max. Guys, these batteries is nothing but a beast. So I, I just designed them to be a power wall standing all the way vertical, all the way which I have them sit under one of the Nissan Leaf, um, one of the, ma the modules of the Nissan Leaf, um, just for them to be stabilized. So it's, I'm shaking them, so make sure that it's stable. Guys, um, nothing else I can ask for. This five point, this 8.544 kilowatts, it's been running all night yesterday and all the way today. And it's already 15, 25 hours here in Minnesota. We are still sitting at 82%. And guys, I'm telling you, the voltage is not going anywhere. Okay? We sit still sitting at a 30.54. And if you decide to calculate that, it's 30.54 divided by 4 for 24 volts. And we're going to be sitting approximately uh, about almost 8 volts. Pancel. So you do the math. But I dragged these batteries all the way to 49% state of charge. And these batteries, 49% state of charge. And they were still sitting at 28.98 volt. So if you do the calculation, um, 28, 28.98, I think, supposed to give you approximately 7.3 volts per battery, per cell. Guys, the batteries are just doing good. And they are just doing good. They are running the house constantly. Running the house constantly. The refrigerators and freezers, they're running constantly. And like nobody's business. But the way I have this, I was going to think, I'm thinking about trying to go on a 48 volt into that and use it with the Outback and see how this beast, beast here can do. 
towards this so right now the 48 volt is sh it's already shut down and the battery is here um the chrysler pacifica which is the lg cam they are here and the ford focus they are in there guys they are just resting right now they don't do anything because i want this system to um to this 24 volt um system which is the um the uh, Volkswagen e-Golf and uh, which is uh, um, manufactured by Sanyo from Japan so I want to see how I can exercise this a lot of people has been asking and all, all my friends um, across the globe they've been asking about this they're kind of rear batteries but guys I'm not running no BMS here mind you guys I'm not running no BMS but these batteries are have staying well balanced you know, you can watch my videos uh, sw um, swapping from um, AGM to lithiums. Okay? From lithiums to AGMs, or AGM, sorry, to lithiums. Then you will see the time I transition from that AGM to lithiums. And you see exactly how many months or going to a year we'll be running the system without BMS. And the batteries stay balanced. So for the LG cam here, you guys can see them. They're all stacked in twos. They're running parallel. All of them because there's is a, a, a 64, 64.7, um, something like that, volt. And they are just doing fine. They're doing great. And I just stack them because the inverter can take that. So running there to 67 volt. And... It's nothing else. Some people are kind of worried. Outback can do that for you. So that's why I end up having another Outback system, which I'm going to be showing you. Weird one with a 36, uh, which is uh, 32 volts can go um, 32. Um, it can go 36. And the highest is a 45 volt. Okay. It's very close to the 48 volt um, configuration. Which I like that idea because a bunch of weird batteries out there which I want to really try. Because of the way they are. If you guys can check with the Fiat. The Fiat batteries, the kind of weird um, thing is a 24 volt, some of them 36. There are a bunch of 36 volts out there. Which can work great with my 36 or uh, 24, sorry, 32 volts out back. Which is here. And I'm still thinking about doing some work with it. But, guys, it's all about the batteries. Right here. JW Solar USA, thanks for watching.